Hello, this is Dibidi, and welcome back to Let's Play Popolo Croix. Last time we were blasted into the Godric Mine by the, uh, you know, the Secret of Mana Cannon Travel Service. But, uh, today let's, we're gonna go exploring. Narcia came and rescued us, and, uh, here we go. Also, um... Oh, we have some new enemies here. I fixed the screen flickering. Hallelujah. That was a royal pain in the ass, but I finally got it fixed. Um, so hopefully there won't be any more flickering, any more flashing, none of that crap, and we can just really enjoy the game, and this will also allow me to do, um, more PSP games in the future since I figured out what was wrong with the, um, with the recording. I'm not going to go into all the little technical aspects of it, but it pretty much involved me being a complete moron and doing trial and error, uh, to get it fixed. Oh, we have an orc here. Nice. So, uh, yeah, I'm not exactly all that computer savvy. I think I've said that before on different occasions. But, uh, it's, um, I pretty much literally had to go through every single option. And either toggle it on or toggle it off, record for a couple seconds, see what happens. And it took me about three hours, but I finally found the right configuration, and I did it. So there you go. Uh, anyway, up here, um, there are two paths, and if you take the top path, you can, um, move on, but you're gonna get turned back around anyway, they're gonna tell you to, uh, to go back anyway, so, we're gonna go ahead and take the lower path, up before a shower, and just keep on moving right in here. Go over on this way, and you would get, ooh, a Lux Seed, very nice. And then, ooh, guy's in jail, treasure chest, some kind of statue, ooh, some orcs that are asleep, uh-oh, I'm bypass them real fast. Oh, it looks like the leader. The leader of the orcs. Uh, I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> oh, bam. Is this the king of the orcs? If we can defeat him, then the others may run. Okay, let's do this, Pietro. Oh, he just called his friends. Yikes! I'm totally not prepared. Holy shit! Totally not prepared for all this. And we're surrounded. Pincher attack. Let's see what we can do. I can use a slicing wind. Oh, I can get two of them with a slicing wind. Let's do that. Oh, wait. If you move your ass, I'll see. I've got to move you over here. There we go. Two of them with a slicing wind. Nice. Awesome. That's an easy way to do it. Oh, that's, that's really nothing too terrible. Let me go ahead and have her focus. And I'm gonna go ahead and have you... Yeah. Think, oh, really? You don't... You won't die? I uh, figured I'd get you in one hit. That kind of sucks. Oh, yeah, that raises his attack. That's, uh, that could be kind of scary. But let's go ahead and... Uh, we'll go ahead and attack this guy. Why not? And now that we have her all powered up... We're gonna put her right next to Pietro and do an airstrike! Incoming! Airstrike! Bam! That's not great, but eh, it is what it is. Ooh, they're lined up in a row. I wonder if I can get them with an airstrike. That would be really nice. Um, one thing to keep in mind about focus is, or a spicing wind, whatever it's called. Keep in mind about focuses, it doesn't Slicing. just work with, um, with the regular attacks, it also works with, uh, magical attacks and special skills and things like that. So I'm going to have both of them focus. Now that he's all alone and all he's doing is war crying to raise his friends, I really don't care. Uh, it's not going to take that long, but now I can use a wind cutter on him and some focus wind, wind cutter. So let's see how well it does. Bam! Normally, a regular wind cutter would deal about, I would say, Dragon 80 damage. Bang. That deals about 200 damage. Bam! Holy shit! 160. Awesome. So yeah, this is going to be a round of focusing and uh, dragon fanging and air striking, or wind cuttering, I should say. <laughs> It's actually more efficient to do this because it deals about 1.5 damage, or I guess it would be 2.5 damage more. Ooh, Life Shield, that's like a defense up buffing spell. 
awesome. So it's not just twice as much damage, it's it's about two and a half more times damage. I wonder if the key that Orc left will open this cage. Let's try it. Excuse me. Uh, no, please don't eat me. You wouldn't like it. I don't taste very good. Hey, if you're hungry, please eat that one first. Uh, the orcs are dead. Really? What happened? <laughs> the look in his face is like, da -da -da. I don't see anybody, huh? Uh, okay. We, we, we get the point. There's nobody there. Did you do that? Wow, what a hero! Is she with you too? No, she's just some bitch in my harem. Yeah, of course she's with me. Thank you, you saved my life! Let me introduce myself. I'm Naguro. I work in Godric Mine. I'm Pietro. I'm Narcia. I'm a forest witch. Nice to meet you both. Pietro. That name sounds familiar. You're the son of Paulo, the lion-hearted king. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Tin Man busted off all of his rust. Thank you very much. I'm White Knight. I ran into the orcs when I came into the mine. Look at me. The orcs soaked me with salt water and now I'm all rusted over. I must look terrible. I'm so embarrassed. If you hadn't come, I would have been dinner. How do you know about my father? He's a legendary hero among knights. I'm sh I'm sh I sure wasn't expecting to meet his very own son, the prince. What a pleasure. You seem to be headed somewhere on a mission. May I join you? Huh? The prince? What a nice surprise! Uh, okay, shall we go? Well, well, sounds good to me. More party members! Ooh, get a slow tool for another useless, like, freaking useless summon monster. Get down there, P Pietro. I swear. Uh, get a forest leaf, and let's move on. So, now that we have our new party member, he's actually pretty good. He has, um... Some, he doesn't have a lot of MP, and his skills cost a lot of MP, but they hit a big area. He has skills that hit uh, all enemies surrounding him. Um, he also has a lot of attack, but mostly he is like a tank. He has a lot of defense, a lot of HP, so he's real nice to have around. Hey, Negro! Negro, everyone! You're all alive! Yes, we are. We would not have made it if they didn't show up but they're just kids. Things are not always what they appear to be. They may be young, but they saved me when others failed. I want to thank you for saving me. I'm alive because of you. I could never repay you for saving me, but I can teach you a nifty little trick. It's my own special skill called trapping, and it's completely useless. Cool, huh? When you're in battle, just dig a hole and the monsters may fall into it, but be careful when using this skill. Don't fall in yourself. It may come in handy at the right time. Why don't you give it a try? Yeah, uh, this is useless. It reminds me of the trapping in Breath of Fire 5, but that was actually really useful, and I loved it, but this trapping, not so much. There you go, not too bad for a beginner. Here, I'll let you have my shovel. Hope this skill comes in handy for you. Okay, very nice. Now then, I must be on my way. I'm so happy. My wife and kids are waiting for me. Thank goodness we made it back alive. We took the long way around, but we must keep on going. Okay, well, let's talk to you. Oh, he's happy. He's going to tell everyone the orcs are gone from the mine. Okay, well, very nice. And what do you have to say for yourself? Oh, okay. Yeah, we did save everything. We saved the day. Okay, well, everybody pretty much says the same thing. That, yeah, we saved the town, we saved him, and we saved the orcs. So let's see. Uh, can we go to the town this way? Yes, we had to take this ladder. <laughs> and now we are in the town of Godrif, which we will go exploring next time on Let's Play Pablo Croix. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.